You know, the more I think about it, the more fitting it seems that this painting would come from a place of destruction, you know? March 27th of this year was the day of the Covenant Elementary shooting. And I know bad things happen like all the time, but this one just really hit me. I think in part because the pastor lost his daughter. And I just, I, man, I just went down this rabbit hole of emotions one day, just thinking like, he's the pastor of this church. Like all these people are gonna be looking to him for comfort following this horrible thing that's happened. And he himself is gonna be suffering so much because his little girl was killed. I didn't wanna just like say a prayer for them. I didn't wanna just be another person that feels sad for them. Like I wanted to do something. And I thought about when I lost my son and the years following how much I have felt God grieving with me. I feel like Jesus Christ meets us where we are. And I think sometimes God allows suffering in our lives because he knows that suffering will draw our hearts to him in ways nothing else could. And so I decided that I wanted to do a painting of Christ weeping because I, I think he truly weeps with those families. He surely weeps with that pastor as he mourns the loss of his daughter. And then I had to find a panel. I knew I wanted it to be a elongated painting because I love the feeling of a stretch that comes from like a narrow, long composition. I had this mentor that changed my life in 2017 and he actually passed away in 2018. And I was helping his wife clear out his studio and she found this board and he had started a painting of the widow's mite on it. And I knew that painting because he had actually repainted it on a different panel while I was there working with him. And so she holds up this panel that he had like started and then he had like sanded almost all of it off except for the face of this little girl. And she's like, do you think you can do something with this panel? And I was like, yeah, probably. So I just, I took the panel home and I, I, I put it on my shelf. And as I'm trying to find a panel to do this painting on, I feel, I feel my mentor who's passed away in my studio. And I feel him say, Jenity, are you gonna use that panel? And I was like, well, Bill, it's not the right size. And he was like, cut it. And I was like, oh, no, your panel. I don't want to cut your panel. And I, I've never actually cut like linen already mounted to a Gator foam panel. And so I don't even know, like, is the linen going to survive the cutting? Is it going to fray? I had all these questions and doubts about it. And eventually he just kind of was like, Jenny, are you going to use the panel or not? And so... I did, I, I took the panel and I cut it. And then I had to go sand it because um, there was like these little, you know, rough parts where he had left a little bit of paint and I didn't want those, those edges to show through in the finished painting. And so I'm sanding it and there's this little girl and I, I had hoped to be able to preserve that portrait somehow. Like somehow I could cut the panel and, and, and save her and frame her somehow. But there was no way that I could do that and have the panel be the size that I wanted. And I was like, Bill, I really don't want to cover your little girl. Like this portrait's so beautiful. Like how am I supposed to paint over this little girl? And then it was like my little mentor, my angel mentor was in the room and he was like, Jenity, why did you want to do this painting in the first place? And I just started to cry because I said, because of the kids at Covenant Elementary. And then Bill was like, well, won't it be so beautiful that underneath this painting of Christ weeping will be a portrait of a child? And I was like, yeah, Bill, that would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> so I did, and it was still hard to paint over. I kept her there at his elbow <laughs> for months. <laughs> until the day came that I knew I had to, I had to finish the painting. So 
And the whole time I painted, I listened to so much beautiful, inspiring music. Um, but there's this scripture that kept going through my mind, and it was the scripture from Isaiah. It says, He is a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Um, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God. For surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And so I decided to title the painting Acquainted with Grief because he is a man of joy and light and he knows, he knows greater joy than any of us, but he also is very much acquainted with grief. And I think he mourns with us in all the tragedies and all the disappointments and all the sorrows that we face in this life. I think he, he connects with us there. He meets us there in our sorrows and offers us his hand to heal and to move forward. So to all the families that were affected by the shooting at Covenant Elementary, my heart and his heart is with you.